my channel if you're new here hello my name is Twee. welcome to my channel so in today's video I am doing another tutorial I haven't done a tutorial for a while on my channel so I came up with this look right here today super nice and glam I know you guys will definitely love this look because whenever I do looks like this on Instagram I get so many messages asking me to do a tutorial so here it is today if you guys want to see how I created this makeup look please keep watching okay guys so let's get started as you guys can see my hair is in rollers because your girl's going out tonight Hey, so I haven't done hot rollers for quite some time now. It's from the brand called Cloud9 and it's called the O. And it's really cool because every single pod you put in here and it literally takes like two seconds to heat up. And then while you're rolling it, it's not hot, but it gets hot on your hair. So I just primed my skin with the Fasali liquid glass. I've been loving this recently. It gives your skin such a nice plump glow and it's quite tacky as well. So really good under foundation. So I just received this brand new Clinique foundation. I've never really tried Clinique foundations before, but this is called the even better refresh foundation do a little squeeze on my cheeks so i'm gonna go in with my juno sponge i have done a whole review about this sponge so if you guys haven't seen it yet go check out that video it's already live on my channel i find with clinic foundations a lot of them are very pink but this actually has a nice yellow undertone which is good okay so i just applied on the foundation all over it did oxidize not gonna lie but it still oxidized to a warm shade i didn't have high expectations for clinic i'm not gonna lie but it's actually a really nice foundation okay so i'm gonna go in with the laura mercier flawless fusion long wear concealer in the shade w2 so i actually had this concealer ages ago and i kind of like forgot about it because there was loads of concealers coming out at that time but i recently just went to paris with laura mercier and i met makeup by marion he was saying how this concealer is amazing because it doesn't crease so this is quite a nice yellow undertone as well and the doe fruit applicator is actually really nice it's like really nice and long and wide and flexible a little bit on my chin just down my nose as well alrighty so the concealer's blended out and i can actually say that it doesn't crease up straight away makeup by mario you was right i'm not gonna play with fire and leave it for a long time so i'm gonna quickly set it okay so i'm gonna use some of the huda beauty easy bake powder in the shade pound cake i'm gonna use my little powder puff from beauty blender this is so good for baking so i like using one of these powder puffs to really press my foundation and powder in because i don't want nothing to be moving around i want it all to stay really nice and matte in the places that i want it to be matte i literally like, feel like i'm slapping myself Oh yes, come on ASMR. Slap them ball bags, yes. The only thing annoying about this powder is that you can't get loads out, so it's quite hard to bake with. Okay, so now I'm just gonna bake on the side of my nose. So I just push the powder just a little bit more on the side of my nose to make it look as narrow as possible. We want our nose to look snatched, please. I'm gonna go and contour my face because I literally look like a flat pancake right about now. And that ain't cute, girl. I just got this in, which is so cool. This is from Benefit and they just launched a cheek leader palette. How pretty is this palette? Like, it has everything in here that I would actually use. Sometimes I find with palettes like this, you'd probably just use like one colour. But they just launched a new hula shade, which is called Hula Caramel, which my friend Layla's the face for. I feel so proud of her. And they just launched a highlighter called Cookie. So I'm going to try Hula Caramel. It's a bit warmer. For me personally, I don't actually bronze with Hula because I find it's a bit too grey toned. And this is a little bit warmer as well, which I would actually use for bronzer. Like Hula is an actual contouring powder. Contour my cheeks. Mm -mm -mm. I have a whole video about how I contour and highlight and all of my do's and don'ts and also how to fix patchiness so go watch that okay so I blend out the bronzer now I'm gonna go in with a bit of gold rush and a bit of coralie stuff together blush is quite light it doesn't really come out that much so I'm gonna try this cookie highlighter it actually looks quite pretty it has got more like a pink silverish tint to it you guys know I love more like goldy kind of highlights but we'll try it it's a bit too light for me though, I think. Makeup by Mario also taught me to highlight on the sides of your forehead, not in the middle okay so i just quickly done my eyebrows i already have a whole youtube video about how i do my eyebrows so that's already on my channel you guys can check that out so i really want to do like a winged smoky liner so i'm going to use some sellotape today i need to get like a proper roll of sellotape like this one is like so crusty from poundland i'm gonna cut it right here so i'm just gonna cut that in half so we have one for each eye and the trick is to put this on the back of your hand first and then peel it off so that basically you get all your nasty skin debris on it and it's not as sticky. So we don't want it to be too sticky when we put it on the eyes, otherwise it will ruin all of my foundation. It's actually quite disgusting when you can actually see how groggy the tape is. Look at the difference! Ah! Just want to make sure you look directly as well and see if it's even. Of course you can do this step before you do on your foundation as well. So today's palette, I'm going to use the new Morphe 35G Bronze Goals palette. This palette is so pretty, look at all of this. It has a black in here as well. Very, very cute. 
you I was dying to do a look with this the only thing when I swatched it the colors are not that pigmented like it looks pigmented when I put on my fingers but when I actually swatch it it doesn't come out that strong so I'm going in with the P Louise eyeshadow base okay so I'm literally just dabbing this all over the eyes so we'll start off with this top nudie kind of shade here it's like a nice transition shade I need to learn how to use this damn eyeshadow base because everyone that uses it makes the eyeshadow blend out so well but every time I use it it just grips on so much especially in the transition shade I love it on the eyelid but in the crease I find it really hard to blend out okay so I just built up my eyeshadow just in my crease just so it has a light blend to it it's actually so pretty this color the more and more I blend it out it goes deeper in the crease and then when I fluff it out it goes to like a light kind of pinky beige okay I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller brush I'm gonna go in with this middle shade here a little bit of this with a dab of this so now that we went in with a smaller brush you guys can see it's a little bit more targeted in certain areas now so now I'm just kind of working this into the crease to try to like carve out my crease a little bit more so that transition shade is just gonna be a bit softer and then this is gonna work into the crease so it all blends together okay so now that the crease is darkened up a little bit I'm gonna start to cut the crease a bit more of my P Louise eyeshadow base so I'm looking into my mirror and I'm kind of dotting out the shape that I want with my eyes open. When I go like this, you guys can see it's like skipping because there's a roll of skin there. But with my eyes open, I want to make sure I'm able to see the cut crease. So that's the little trick to making sure that when you do a cut crease, it just doesn't roll over when you open your eyes. Then once you've got that shape there, you can just blend in the rest of your crease. So I'm just touching my eyes just like this, just so that I can still get the shape of the crease all mapped out and now i'm tilting my head back and i'm just coloring this all in okay so now that the eyes are cutted and creased i'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow right here it's a really nice bright yellow gold i'm really gonna try to pack this on because i want this bit to stand out i was thinking to do a light matte on the eye but there's no matte in this freaking palette so we're gonna go with a goldy shade instead i feel like the shimmers inside of this palette is pressed differently compared to the other palettes so i just want to blend these two colors together by adding another shade i'm gonna go in with this antique brown here it's because it's a dark brown but it's slightly metallic it will just fade in really nicely i feel like because i've been doing so much color on my channel i wanted to do, do something a bit more neutral glam that you guys will actually wear do you guys prefer more like golden browns bronzes like this or do you prefer a bit more color okay so now i'm going to go in this dark brown so i'm going to go in this dark brown and a little bit of black so i'm going to start to do this smoky eyeshadow so i'm just going to like fade this color together right on the outer corners here because i want this bit to be the darkest so the closer that i get to the lash line i'm adding more black because i want this bit to be really smoky i haven't done a smoky eyeliner in so long i don't know how much to smoke it out oh my god black is going onto my lower lash line ah okay the crease is coming oh my god look at my bottom lash line oh my god i need to be more careful okay so i'm gonna go in with a gel eyeliner this is from illamasqua I hardly ever use gels because I find with gels you have to always use a brush and ain't never gonna have time to be finding brushes. Okay, so I'm just starting off in the outer corners and I'm just kind of bringing it slowly on the inner corners and I'm not worrying too much if it's perfect because I'm literally gonna go over with black eyeshadow anyways. So this just gives me a guideline to know where to put the black and then I'm gonna go on top of black eyeshadow and just smoke it out. I also have a 101 video all about eyeliners. If you guys wanna know how to do the perfect wing eyeliner, check out that video. <sighs> Okay, so I just tested out this one eye to see how smoky I can get it, and I quite like it. I'm hoping when I take off this tape, it's going to be cute. So I'll show you how I've done it on the other eye. Literally picking up these two brownie black shades. We want the black to be super intense by the root, and then if I go higher, I add a bit more brown. If I go darker, I add a bit more black. Okay, then I'm just going to pick up that brown and I'm just going to skim on top of that liner because I want it to look like a smoky brown liner as well. Getting so much fallout on my damn cheek, but it's okay, we can sweep it off. Time to reveal the tape. It looks like I have one little lash here. Okay, let's try this eye. This eye I'm scared of because I think I stuck the tape wonky. Oh, okay then. I love the fact that it looks really nice and smoky on top and at the bottom is like super sharp and clean. This bottom lash line, however, is not cute. I just need to wipe away all of the fallout that I have on my cheek. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend out this crazy little line here that I did for myself, just with a clean brush. And then I'm just gonna add some black to my waterline at the bottom. I'm gonna make it smoky at the bottom as well, I think. You can just use a pencil as well if you don't wanna use a gel. I just find gels last a bit longer. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up some of that brown again. I'm gonna dip a little bit of this warmer brown in there as well. And I'm just gonna blend this on my lower lash line because I want it to be smoky like the top bit. I literally just smudged my eyeshadow in a bit so that it looks more like a cat eye. 
Okay, so I'm just going to put on some mascara and lashes. I'm going to use Tatty Lashes TL10. Okay, so the lashes are on. They are super long, thick and fluffy just the way I like it. I am going to add a little bit of glitter to this because I'm going out tonight. This is Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay. I'm going to put this just along this little rim bit here. I'm just going to do just a light bit of glitter, nothing too heavy. Okay, so that's the eyes done. Woo! Okay, so on the lips, I'm going to go in with Spice Lip Liner from MAC. Just to line the lips slightly. Okay, then on the lips, I'm going to go in with the La Rose Perfecto Lip Balm from Givenchy. This one feels really nice and creamy. And look at this bullet, guys. Just look at it. So freaking pretty. And then I'm just going to finish off with a Huda Beauty Power Bullet. This is just in a shade called Joyride. This one goes on so much better with a lip balm underneath. Okay, I'm going to take out my hair now. Okay, the hair's coming out. Ooh. Yes, volume, yes. Ooh, how exciting is this? Okay, so I just finished off my hair. I just took out all the rollers and put some hairspray on and it looks super nice and fluffy. Exactly how I wanted it. Not too curly. I just want like a soft wave to it with some nice body in it. Ooh. I haven't done my hair in ages, so I feel super glam. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know down below what you thought of today's look. Let me know if you guys want to see some more tutorials like this, because I feel like I haven't done tutorials in a while. Or do you guys prefer reviews, vlogs? Let me know down below. Or you can also feel free to message me on all my other social media platforms. It's just X Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Enjoy the bloopers. Mwah. I am so freaking hungry. Mom, mommy. Okay then, someone's in a rush. Oh no, okay. Oh no, okay, should we do that? Done, done, done. I've got 45 minutes to pack. I wanted to film another haul, but I guess we're out of time now. Go okay, right. Okay, you can compliment me now. What's the compliment of the day? There's no compliment of the day. Grand never compliments me, guys. I've had enough! <laughs>